and good morning everyone. I'm Marianne Demain. Students are camped out at York University demanding action over the strike. They're holding their protest in the Senate chambers and have four demands. They want the university and the union to go back to the bargaining table. A tuition refund for students. They're also asking for answers over the personal expenses of the university's president. And they want classes cancelled by midnight tonight. They believe that keeping the school open drags out the bargaining process. That puts a lot of stress on the students because a lot of them don't want to cross the picket lines. A lot of them aren't getting the academic help that they're entitled to. That's not their fault that this is going on. But and yet that all the pressure is being put on them and they have no voice in the say and that's why we're here. The strike at York University is now in its third week. You're watching Global Toronto. This is Global News at Noon. Frustrated students at York University are demanding action over the strike. They've set up camp in the Senate chambers. Our Shalima Maharaj is staying by at York University with more on what these students are demanding. Shalima. Good afternoon, that's right. Those students that are staging the sit-in right now, they are standing in solidarity with the striking contract workers, and that includes contract faculty. It also includes TAs, graduate assistants, and what they are looking for is they would like to see classes officially halted by the university by 11.59 p.m. today until the strike is over. Now, what they are saying is that by continuing classes, that undermines the academic integrity of those courses, and it also undermines the position of those striking workers at the bargaining table. The university says they are aware they have a safety team on site monitoring this sit-in that's happening right now. We know that the two sides had gone back to the table. Talks had resumed with help from a mediator, but those talks quickly fell apart. Of course, they remain divided on a number of issues, chief among them job security. And we had been speaking to a number of people on the picket lines asking them about that. And one of the big points for a lot of uh, the workers here is that they have worked here for 50 some for 20 years and it's been incredibly hard to continue on for them. The university meanwhile says that the demands that are being put on the table by the striking striking contract workers, those demands would cost them a significant amount. As you can see, we still are here at the picket line. We're going to head in a little bit later on and we are going to look to talk to some of those students and hear what they have to say about this sit-in, about the situation and about the remainder of the school year. All right, thank you, Shalima. It has been more than two weeks since some staff walked off the job at York University. Many classes have been impacted, and now many students have had enough and are taking action. Shalima Maharaj is live at York University. Shalima, what are students doing tonight? Well, these students right now are staging a sit-in inside one of the buildings. They are occupying that room and their goal is to revive talks. What they want is for York to give striking contract workers exactly what they want, no concessions included. Local union members enter the Senate chamber at York University where students are staging a sit-in in solidarity with striking contract workers. We want to show that we have a voice. We're important to this school and if this is what it takes for us to show that this is what we stand for, this is what we believe in, then that's what we're doing. Among their demands that tuition be refunded for the winter term and that York University return to the bargaining table with the union proposing no concessions. Some students work really hard and their classes aren't we're not receiving the 100% of our course um, based on our syllabus. They say keeping classes in session during the strike undermines the integrity of the education they're getting. That's why they're calling for York to cancel classes until the strike is over. We certainly respect the students' right to hold that view. It's different from ours. We don't believe that canceling classes would end the strike. <laughs> Talks resumed between both sides this week with a mediator at the table. They quickly broke down. These are our students, and so they're entitled to express their views. Um, right now, we're monitoring the situation, and we're just taking it one day at a time. The union, meanwhile, is chiming in with supports for the students who are pledging to have their backs. We're very proud that they're taking these actions into their own hands, and absolutely, we believe that the university has made a mess of these negotiations. Now, a York University spokesperson confirmed to us as of this afternoon that about 55% of their classes are continuing to run. The strike continues. Farah? Okay, so the Maharaja, York University, thank you for your coverage.